Hi, welcome back to Painting with Kevin. I'm Kevin Miller. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do a little fall scene today and we're going to run the colors that I'll be using across the screen if you'd like to paint along with me. And we're going to jump in here and get started. I'm going to use a two inch brush and uh, I've prepped the canvas by using some titanium white and I put some linseed oil in it just to thin it down and spread it uh, uh, and an even coat across the canvas. So we're going to start in with a little bit of cadmium yellow with a two-inch brush. Just tapping it in here. Not too much paint on your, not too much paint on your brush. I'll go up here. Uh, maybe right in here a little bit. I'm going to leave that kind of light in the center here because we might make a kind of a sunburst there or something. So a little. A little cadmium yellow, and then I'm going to go into some yellow ochre. Not clean my brush, no need to. We're going from a lighter color to a to a darker color, so no big deal. Right in here. While I'm at it, I think I'll go ahead and brush a little color down down this way. Maybe go back into that cad yellow and get it kind of bright right here in the center. Oops, looks like I picked up a little a little dark paint here. Right here in the center, and we'll go back into the yellow ochre. And then we'll pick up a little burnt sienna, same deal, not cleaning my brush. This burnt sienna kind of has a, a little bit of a reddish color to it here on the edges. Maybe a little bit over here. And with this thin titanium white on here, it allows this paint to flow pretty well. So you get a kind of a nice, nice blended effect here. Might even put a little bit more right up in here. Ooh, maybe a lot more up in here. Wipe my brush off a little. Up here, let's go ahead and brush down here just to get some more color. Down here where we'll have a little bit of water. Straight down, brush straight down. All over on this side as well. And then lightly brush across. And it'll kind of put a shimmer down here. And our water. Pull it across. But make sure it's straight. If you go sideways with it or kind of down like that, it will not look like water. It has to appear flat. I'm going to blend this out a little bit better up top. Like this, slowly, and just let it blend. Set this aside. Pick up a one inch brush, go into a little titanium white. And let's just go right here in the middle and make a little sunburst here, get rid of that extra bristle there. These brushes like to shed. Okay, I think I can live with that. Uh, let's take my uh, palette knife here. Let's mix up a color. Maybe we'll put a few trees in here. I'm going to use some of that uh, sienna. Throw in a little burnt umber. Get kind of a oh, reddish brown. A little bit more. Let's mix up a good little, little amount here so we have enough to work with. 
Let's take it here. Maybe something like that. I can work with that. Use a fan brush. Loading our fan brush. Plenty of paint. Get plenty of paint on here. And let's go up in here somewhere and decide where we're going to drop a tree. Maybe right here. Just using the corner of the brush. And again, it's all about getting the shape right. Don't worry about, don't worry about individual branches. They don't matter. They do not matter. I mean, that's far enough down with that. So let's let's change it up a little bit. Let's go maybe a bit more of a reddish tone to it here. So I'm gonna go right into this sienna. And let's just put one right next to it here and see what happens. You get a little more of a red tint to him. So kind of a kind of a fantasy fall scene, I suppose. Evergreens tend to stay green, but we're gonna do what we want here. And let's do one more. Maybe I'll take uh, the sienna, I don't know, maybe stick a little white in it. Just change the flavor of it a little bit, just because. And I don't know, maybe right here. It came a little shorter. Right here, bring him on down. Right in there. So we've got several on that side. So I think we'll uh, maybe put a few here on the left side. Maybe put a put a tall one here. Right here. And the more you go down the canvas, the harder you push the brush, the wider the tree gets. I think that's a good start point. Let's go back into that sienna again. Maybe give him a, kind of a red toned one here close by. Right there. Now notice when I do the branches on this, don't start all the way to the top of the tree. Uh, come down, drop down just a little bit right there. Leave that top that top shoot all by itself, no branches on it. If you start putting branches all the way at the top of the tree, the tree's gonna be really big really soon. We don't want that, we want it to, again, it's all about shape, it's all about shape. Let's do a couple, maybe a couple little ones here. Maybe I'll go into a darker brown here just to change it up. Again, maybe one right next to it, a little short one here. And since I don't like symmetry in a painting, especially when I'm doing a landscape painting, I'm going to put four on this side instead of, instead of three. I know that's an even number, and that can be a no-no, but that's okay. We're doing it anyhow. Right here. Bring him on down there. That looks like a good stopping point there. Okay. Set my fan brush aside. I want to find myself a one inch brush and we're going to kind of haze this out a little bit here. And just tapping, I'm not brushing, I'm just tapping. Taking my brush and just kind of misting this out, just mist it out. That way it sets it back a little bit, kind of, kind of hazy. Maybe there's some mist. Makes it, moves the, moves the painting back a little bit. How far are we going over here with this? I guess we'll decide, look at that, I'm creating some bushes there just like that. Right in here, and I'm just tapping, I'm not brushing. Don't brush, you don't want brush strokes, you just want to give a kind of the illusion of some something distant going on there. See, now I still already have paint in my brush, so you can do this neat kind of stuff. See, I've got uh, maybe some little bushes or something here. Rob a little paint there, take it up like that. So something like that. Okay, 
So let's uh, let's start thinking about maybe our mid ground and uh, and then bring it on into the foreground. So I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna use a two inch brush here. I'm gonna go into some dark color here. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, some of this burnt umber and just uh, mix a little paint here. Maybe a little bit of the sienna. And we'll start filling in here for a second. Just kind of laying in this, this background, just a minute. Just to kind of get our basic shape in here. Right here. I think we'll get this back part laid in here. Right in here. And I think this is probably a good place for a break. So we'll stop here and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Hi, welcome back to Painting with Kevin. I'm Kevin Miller. We're going to pick up where we left off using my two inch brush. I'm going to go into some sienna and a little burn umber and just loading up my brush. And we're going to fill in, fill in a little land mass here. Bring it down. Maybe take it across there. And a little darker. Let's A little more. And again, I'm tapping. I'm not not brushing, just tapping. Let's reload our brush, get a little bit more paint. And let's get some down in here, maybe set in a... Maybe we've got a little, little pond or a lake here. Have that come all the way across here. And we'll just fill this in real quick. Get a little darker paint here as we come forward. Tapping out. And we'll darken him down a little bit. And it just takes a little bit of time with this, but you want to get it covered because we're going to go back in with some highlight later. And if you don't have this dark enough, your highlight's not going to show up as well as you might want it to. So we're just taking our time here and filling in. Reloading my brush, still mixing the, the CNN, the burn umber. Let's, the colors vary a little bit. And we'll just fill it in down in here. And we're getting close. We may come back a little bit later and just fill in a little bit more, but you got it pretty good there. Let's go ahead while we're here. Let's just pull a little color down here into the water. As such, just brushing straight down. A little reflection in the water. Across here. Straight down, no straight down. And maybe we'll just leave that alone here for a minute. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. I think over here might be a good place for a cabin. So let's uh, let's go ahead and grab our palette knife here, and let's let's see if we can lay in a cabin. I'm gonna go with this dark brown. Might put just a little bit of lamp black in there. Got to be careful with this lamp black, though. Very 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 dark color. Very strong. And if you put too much in, all your colors will get quite dark on you. So you got to watch it here. So let's just look. Maybe a good place for a cabin. Let's take maybe scrape in a, a shape here. Maybe here. Kind of like this. Oh, I don't know how big we want to make this thing. We'll just sketch in and decide as we go. Maybe something like this. Make a good place. That might work. <laughs> Okay, a little shape there. Just gives me an idea of uh, what it'll look like when I start putting paint in. So I'm going to take my knife here, pull across with this dark brown mixture, and pull the knife toward me. And it kind of slides across as I pull it toward me as well. So pull it toward me, let it slide across, and uh, should put a pretty good little bead of paint on your knife. And we'll go up here and just start 
putting in our cabin shape. Maybe that overhangs a little bit right there. And let's slant him down this direction. Just fill in here real quick. A little more dark paint. And we'll bring it on down in here to the to the grass. We don't really care what it looks like down here at the bottom right now. We'll clean that up later. Let's just get it filled in right here. Okay. Wipe my knife off. Mix up a little bit more of that dark brown here. So that we have uh, have for later. I'll take, uh, take a front of this cabin, maybe do a little highlight. I got a little yellow ochre here, so I'm going to pull that out, put a little bead of yellow ochre on my, on my knife. Got those bristles from that brush still shedding there. I'm going to take a little yellow ochre here, like here, just kind of touch. Tell you what, let's add a little bit of red to that yellow ochre, just make it a little, a little more interesting. Get a little bit more color there. A little red with the yellow ochre. And let's just kind of just Touching with the edge of my knife here, maybe putting some board shapes in here. Just touching, not really, not really even pulling the knife much. A little bit more here, turn my knife this way. Coming on across. Right here. Okay. And we'll come back maybe look at that a little bit more in a second. Let's, uh, let's put a little bit of a roof on this thing. So take my knife, reload it. A little bit of this dark, dark brown color again. And let's put a little, little side shed on him here. And we'll build that out just a little bit more. Okay. Go back in, set our overhang here. And we need some color on the roof of this barn. So I think maybe a bright red. Maybe, let's see what that looks like. Let's go a little bright red here. It might be too bright. We may dull it down a little bit. I don't know. But let's load our knife here. And let's start right here. That's bright. Touch it here, bring it down, just kind of follow the angle of your, your roof here, right there. Maybe set my corner here a little better, right there, and a little bit here too, off on this little side shed, we'll pull it out a little. Maybe let that stand out a little more there. Yeah, I'm going to grab a little dark, dull that down just a little bit, a little stronger than I want it. Something like that. See if we can't set a corner on him right over here. Okay, need a little door in this, so let's just scratch him down right there. A little door in the cabin. Just scraping away the excess paint, grabbing a little bit more of the dark brown. Load my knife, pull it toward you. And we'll go in here. It's a little door. All right, let's go back and work on a few highlights on this. Set that edge there a little better. Pull that out a little more here. And let's go in and 
a little bit more of that yellow ochre, maybe a little more red, and just fancy them up here a little bit, a little more red. Let's go back in here and bring a few more highlights across here, make this interesting. Right here next to the door, get it right here to the corner. So if we put enough highlight on, we can separate the front of the, the building from the side. Okay, let's go ahead and set our side here. That way we separate the, the front from the side. And I think with this, we'll take a couple minutes break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back to Painting with Kevin. I'm Kevin Miller. We're going to pick up where we left off. We were working on this cabin, so we're going to spend a little bit more time on it. I've got a little uh, titanium white here. I'm using uh, my knife. Get a really small bead of paint here. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to turn the knife this way. Uh, it's just easier for me. I'm going to kind of outline this cabin door here. Maybe just a little bit, even in here. And I'm just touching with this knife. I'm not not really dragging it, just kind of barely touching. Just give a little highlight here in a few places. Just makes it, uh, makes it a little bit more interesting. If it's too bold, you can just take your knife, wipe the paint off, and just no paint on your knife, and just drag it a little bit. It'll, it'll mute the colors a little bit so it doesn't stand out too much. And something along that line. We could go up if we want. Now, this is, this is risky business here, but we could go up on uh, the roof of this thing and think, put a little white. But of course, we're mixing... Uh, we're mixing white with uh, red here, so you gotta be careful. You end up with pink. I guess that's uh, I guess that's okay, but not really what we're shooting for. So let's uh, let's leave that alone. We may go back and visit later, but let's just uh, leave that for right now. I'm gonna pick up my uh, two-inch brush again, and notice I kind of left this down at the bottom, kind of a mess. So I'm just gonna take this brush and. Tap in here and just use that color that's already on the canvas and maybe put some shadow there where I tap this in. See, now it's, now it's sitting in the weeds, just like that, that easy. There he is. And we'll go over here just for a little bit more. Maybe, whoo, I got into some of that dark brown there. That should be interesting. Right here. And we'll fill this in. Just, just some more. I want, it, want it dark enough that my highlights show. And let's um, let's leave that alone. Let's go back here and pull down a little bit more color here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat here and pick up a fresh two-inch brush and just brushing across a little little reflection in the water. This is a great way to put reflection in the water using oil paint. Uh, now when you Got to just go lightly here. Don't drag too much here uh, when you're doing this. Let's uh, let's put a little mud along the banks here. So I'm going to go back into some of my brown mixture here. It doesn't really matter. You could take some of the sienna, a little bit of the a little bit of the burnt umber, and I'm going to take the small part of my knife. In other words, you got two flat edges. You got this, and then you got the small part here. And I'm going to go up in here and just brush it straight across. Just put. Kind of like a little muddy bank there, right up next to the water's edge. Maybe even on back here some. Now, brush, use your knife brush straight across. In other words, horizontal knife marks. Because if you don't, this water will not appear flat. It will not appear flat. We're not going to go over there so much. Because uh, you're not going to see too much of your bank on this side. Maybe a little bit in a few places, but not too much. Right in here. Bring them on down here. Maybe we'll wrap it around, wrap it around to right here. Okay. Wipe my knife off. Maybe pick up a little titanium white. Go in here and just right back underneath here. Put a little white in. Maybe a little bit out here. Looks like there's some splashes or something going on in here. Little shallow areas. Inner painting, 
And we'll go back and pick up our uh, two inch brush that I was using a minute ago. Let's just go into some, let's go into some yellow ochre. Maybe a little bright yellow too, just mixing the two together, just mixing it right on the brush. A little yellow ochre, a little bright yellow. And let's see about doing some highlights on this, uh, on this grass here. Make it stand out a little bit in a few places. Going back in, reloading my brush. And we got a pretty good little amount on here. Reloading my brush. Bring it on down here. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little heavier. Get it show up a little bit better. And in here. And again, I'm going back, mixing in my yellow ochre, a little cadmium yellow, and just putting it on pretty bold, pretty bold. I'll tell you what, I got an idea. Once we get this in, let's, uh, let's do something down here. Let's make something happen down here. This looks like a good place for a fence. Let me grab a little of that lamp black and a little bit of this dark sienna. I'm just going to make a kind of a dark brown here. Okay, a little dark brown. And just load my knife here. And we'll just pick a place here. Oh, this looks like a good place for a fence right there. Oh, that's good and dark. I'll lighten him up a little bit here. That's good and dark. Now, to keep in mind, these fence posts go straight up. They don't, don't go sideways here with them. Go straight up with them here. Maybe one's over here. And maybe we can put a little one right there next to it. Right there. And let's put a couple of handrails here. Maybe this is a place for the cows to look out at the water. Got to keep the fence up. Keep them out of the water though. Run it right here. A little bit. Let's go back and Sneak and grab that two inch brush. Go ahead and highlight a little bit more here, a little bolder, just to make him pop. Really make him pop there, really make it interesting. A little more. And I think we're going to call this one close. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to uh, take a look at my website, kevinmillerart.com, or my studio, Creative Spirits, at 205 West Loveland Avenue in Loveland, Ohio. And remember to keep painting. Take care.